welcome back to my channel, Dollar Tree Thursday. All right, y'all, so for this Dollar Tree haul, it's small, but I found some awesome things, things that were on my wish list. Y'all let me know down in the comments below if you know it's Christmas at your Dollar Tree because it looks like a bomb blew off up in there, and there are boxes and pallets and carts everywhere. It is chaos. You could definitely tell it's the holiday season. So that's why these hauls the next few weeks might be slow, but we can definitely pick up some hidden gems along the way. So if you want to see what I picked up at the Dollar Tree this week, stick around for this video. All right, y'all. So I'm going to start off with the thing I was most excited about. And it's weird because I'm married for a long time. I don't know anybody like close to me here locally that's getting married however my girl lala from lala's land here on youtube i will link her channel up above she's getting married soon and when i saw these i thought of her immediately and they are beautiful guys if you have anybody getting married these will make a great gift so they're wine glasses that say mr and mrs on them in white and the beautiful script there so nice guys i cannot get over this and i know it's kind of blurring out a little bit because they're clear but look the mr one how pretty is that and then just the matching mrs one so beautiful Again, you could like get some like really expensive bottle of wine or something. This would be a great present for the Mr. and Mrs. So I had to pick these up for her. I know she's getting married and really excited about it. And when I messaged her on Instagram, guys, and definitely follow me here, she said she's been on the hunt for them and haven't found them. So I was really happy that I was able to find something for a friend here on YouTube and really excited when I saw these because these are super nice and they will sell out quickly. So if you're getting married or need a gift for the future for someone you know getting married, two dollars next thing i was super excited about were these key covers by whim fashions and they are not a green briar product so it's actually by whim fashions this is a company and this is a wish list item i have seen people haul these there's also a flamingo i took pictures at the end of the video i'm not sure if there is a pineapple one there probably is but my store was pretty much picked over with these the one that i picked up that looks like a unicorn guys i mean shut up with that are y'all seeing this right now so they look like unicorn heads on your key covers oh my gosh these are so cute y'all know i got these for kira but these were not in the bin with the rest of them someone had picked this up and thrown it in the toothpaste aisle and i always go down every aisle like a hawk and stalk the aisle so when i saw this laying with the toothpaste i was like yes yes and so many times we have moments like that when we're going down random aisles and find gems and and wish list items so definitely go through and check but I got these for her I was so happy I knew they had them but they were sold out everywhere and then I got the little cacti ones I mean how cute are these and I got one for myself and then one for a friend these were precious I had to pick these up these are really high quality guys for a dollar and I cannot wait to put them on my keys. Something else that I picked up for a friend are these little containers and I guess you could put like jewelry in here. I don't know, but it's really cute. And this one says you are my C and as most of y'all know, y'all probably know who that's going to, but I don't want to say if she's watching, she knows, but I just love the sea creatures on there. I love the boat. I love the anchor. I love everything about it. They had different ones of these. I took pictures of at the end. So check it out. All right. Time to get fake nail wasted. Say what? I haven't gotten fake nail wasted in forever. It seems like, and they keep bringing out a lot of the old ones I find, but I don't think I have these. I probably do. If y'all have seen any of my stockpile collection videos, y'all know the fake nails are a serious problem so I went ahead and got these these are just the purple with the ombre here I think those are so classic and so pretty so I went ahead and got two of them because I wasn't sure if I had any of my collection and with these I like to get sets of two in case they don't fit right but I think these are beautiful they had some other ones I think I took pictures of at the end I wasn't like super crazy about and I haven't been picking up that much and I've really been wearing just regular nail polish because I'm trying these really don't tear up my nails that bad but I'm just trying to wear regular and I bought that Grinch set if you follow me couponing I got that at Ulta actually but you can get it at CVS with a couponing deal and I love that China Glaze um, Grinch set it is so cute but had to pick me up some fake nails when I see them so a few decor pieces guys this is also in the Christmas gift sections where those boxes that say like last minute gifts or whatever these are so cute I got this one that says market and it says fresh produce treat lock farms established 1935 i love the rustic farmhouse look and the age look of it and the faux wood and the roosters and the chickens on there if they're all roosters i think there's some chickens on there too but i got this for my kitchen 
In the spring, I have a basket that I made from the Dollar Tree with some fake eggs. I thought this would be cute to sit by, so I wasn't going to get it. I tried to refrain from these wall art pieces, but then I was like, just get it, Nicole. It's a dollar. Put it in your cart. Let's go. But then I got these for my girl, Kira, again. <laughs> um, I don't know if she has these or not, and I'm sure a lot of people have already sent these to her, but if she has multiple, she can always exchange these at the DT. And I love this one. It says, Ride a Unicorn, and it's got the faux wood on it, and it's got the succulents around it. It. how pretty is that that is just so pretty perfect for a little girl's room so if she doesn't want this for herself she can always put this in Maya's room and also what I thought specifically for Maya versus herself was this one that says I do what I want because Maya is all about that girl life and she's full of spunk that's for sure I do what I want so I thought this one was super cute and they had I think another one maybe in the collection of the unicorn wall art but that's all the wall art I picked up but I took tons of pics of the ones that I saw all right so a couple of randoms I did pick up some more of the cranberries are like girl what are you doing with those cranberries I have these like all over the place and when I keep decorating I love the way that they look they look so high in for a dollar for a fake um floral and I have all these other places I keep wanting to put them and my store is pretty much out of stock so they had like two left and the other one looked pretty bad so I picked this one up just randomness then I got the Clorox handy wipes these are the multi-use reusable cloths and there are three of them in here y'all know I love these also they have the other ones too they have more in here but I find that these last a uh, way longer and are more durable I like the other ones don't get me wrong but if I see these, I gravitate towards these instead. So, yep, that's my randoms for the week. So something for Waylon, and yes, this is probably a better deal at like Walmart or something, but guys, I'm in the Dollar Tree twice a week, every week, so I'm there more than I am at Walmart, honestly. So if I'm there and I see something that I want or the kids need or I need, I just go ahead and pick it up. So Waylon has been obsessed with some Play-Doh, and I do have name brand Play-Doh at the DT. They come in a two-pack, so it's 50 cents a can, so not terrible. And he's already got a bunch, but he does not have these colors, so I got purple and green, and then I got like this red and blue color he has been loving it so what I actually do guys and recommend because play-doh can get messy is y'all know those aluminum sheets sheets from the Dollar Tree I hauled those I actually need to get some more I put one sheet on the floor on a table and he plays with his play-doh on the aluminum foil sheet and we just tear it off and put it back in the container and it's easy cleanup so if you are like my husband he's super OCD with messes this will definitely help with that because it is like the easiest cleanup ever with those aluminum foil sheets and just a dollar at the DT. So went ahead and got these four stocking stuffers for Waylon. Last but not least, guys, I told you this was a short haul, but again, uh, gosh, the Dollar Tree, as far as like it looking chaotic in there, it's, it's a miracle that I have found anything, honestly, by the way that my stores look. It is insane. And they've been packed. Like the lines, you have to wait for the back of the store. It's just crazy right now. So my Secret Santa, as I've mentioned, is all about the entertainment entertainment life and the wine life and she even specifically on her sheet put down that she liked cocktail napkins so my store has a really good selection of cocktail napkins for entertaining so I went ahead and got these and these say it's a wine wine 30 <laughs> it's wine 30 and there's 30 in here for a dollar guys and these are a Greenbrier product it says Greenbrier on the back on the back so this is a great deal because these cocktail napkins can be pricey at party city if you're trying to purchase them there then i went ahead and got these two i think they are so cute i've actually purchased these before and they just have pineapples on them and martini glasses and they've got some fruity cocktails there also by green briar 30 in here and then I got these. These are all just martini glasses. So they didn't have, besides this one, they didn't have any like wine ones, but I thought these were cute. It would definitely be cute for entertainment purposes. So I went ahead and got three of these for the day where we're going to do something um, for things that they like. So super happy to find this for Secret Santa. All right, y'all. So that was my Dollar Tree haul this week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly Dollar Tree hauls. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you're not with me already. I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Y'all let me know what you're on the hunt for down below. What's on your wish list? Why are you going in the Dollar Tree? Is it just for Christmas stuff, wrapping paper, last minute stocking stuffers? Or you actually have a wish list of things um, like those keychain things were on my wish list for sure. That would make a great stocking stuffer, by the way. Um, so let me know down below what you're on the hunt for and what your reasoning is for going to the DT and if your DT looks like a hot mess too. Love you guys so much. I'll have an amazing Thursday night and an awesome weekend ahead. Stay tuned for the pics at the end and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.